Welcome back to grade 3. How are you? I hope you are happy and safe. Our lesson today is hands on double unknown facts. Throughout this lesson, we are going to learn how to use a known multiplication fact to solve a multiplication fact you don't know. A known fact means a fact you have memorized. Let's start with example number one in your book. Find four times six. You may don't know four times six equals what? But you know two times six equals what? Two times six equals 12. So how can we use this fact to find four times six? The first step is to decompose or separate number four into equal add-ins. What number plus itself equals four? Yes, it's 2. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. So we will decompose number 4 to 2 plus 2. Now we can use the fact that we know which is 2 greater than 4 now. We have 2 multiplied by 6. Now with your cubes or counters grade 3, make an array to show two rows of six and then draw your array just like this one this is an array with two rows and six column one two three four five and six one two three four five and six this is the first row and this is the second row so this is an array show two rows of six now write the number sentence for this array grade three we have two rows so two six columns so times six equals 12. now the next step is to double the known fact this is the fact that we know now how can we double the fact let's double this array now make one more two times six array just like this one, we will draw another array with two rows, six columns, just like this one. Now write the number sentence of this array, this array, it has the same multiplication sentence because these arrays are the same. So two multiplied six equals 12. Now let's add these two products. Here we have 12 and here we have 12. So 12 plus 12 equals 24. Now the last step is to find 4 multiplied 6. Now push the two arrays together. Let's make them just like one array, just like this one. What? There is nothing here, just line. So this is the first row, the second row, the third row, and the fourth one. And these are the same columns. So we have four rows. So four multiply six columns equals the duplicated product, which is 24. So two times six plus two times six equals 24. So four times six equals 24. The idea is to solve an unknown fact is to use a known fact by separating one factor in this example we decompose four to two and two we must to compose this number to two equal add-ins so this grade three be sure to write these answers on your book page number 377 and if you finish let's solve another example find six times five again the first step is to decompose one factor. Let's decompose 6. Actually, we cannot decompose 5 because we need two equal add-ins. So again, what number plus itself equals 6? Yes, it's a 3 plus 3. So the known fact that we will use is 3 times 5. This is 6 equals 3 plus 3, of course. Now, let's draw the fact that we know we have 3 rows. 
multiplied by five columns. This is the first array. Now let's double this array. We will draw another array, I mean, with three rows again and five columns. Now the product for the first fact is 15. And of course, the product for the new fact is, or the doubled fact is 15. So now let's add the products. 15 plus 15 equals 30. Now look at these two arrays as one array. So we have now one, two, three, four, five, and six rows. Now we have six rows. So the multiplication sentence for this array is six times five equals 30. Three times five plus three times five equals 30. So six times five equals 30. Now please grade three, be sure to write these answers in your book. Page number 378. These are the two known fact this is the known fact that we doubled and this is the two arrays pushed together here they are now it's your turn in grade three so please try to solve these questions by yourself and then when you finish you can check your answers here the same for the next page you can check your answers here page number 380 the next page is your homework in grade three so please try to solve it by yourself and then when you finish you can check your answers here this is for page number 381 and this is page number 382 that's enough for today grade 3 thanks for watching goodbye